yo, 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 and happy Black History Month. Like, we're continuing our honoring of African-American heritage through this recipe of African-American making. And this is a delicious slow cooker gumbo. Another recipe from the bio. Welcome to my kitchen. Now this is a slow cooker chicken and sausage gumbo. And when I tell you that the flavor is unreal, believe me, it is unreal. And it's so easy to put together. Now this recipe I got from the Spruce Eats website. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. So just head on over there if you want some more information as well as the measurements for this recipe. So let's get into it. All right, so now we're gonna start this recipe with a roux. That's me. Okay, well, we're actually gonna do the cooking room. Yeah, yeah. So to a pan, we're just going to add some oil and we're gonna bring that up to temperature. Now, how you'll know oil is heated is that it will kind of start to flow like water. That's how you know that it's nice and heated. And then once we get it to that temperature, then we're just going to add the flour and we're just going to mix vigorously until everything is well combined. Now we're gonna keep an eye on this stirring frequently. And we're gonna cook this until it reaches a reddish brown color. And that should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Now while that's doing its thing, now we're gonna prep all the other ingredients. And I have some smoked sausage that I just wanna get sliced into bite-sized pieces. Like I was saying, this recipe is so perfect because like, I mean, it's super easy to put together. And I mean, you can leave it in the slow cooker, go off and do your thing, and then come back to nice hot soup. What's better than that? Now I've got some cooked chicken here that I would just want to get sliced up. And I'm using chicken thighs because I like the flavor a lot more, but you can definitely use chicken breast. It's also a great way to use leftover chicken. Now we're gonna move on to the veggies, and this is what the Louisianans call a holy trinity of vegetables, which is onions, bell peppers, and celery. And I'm gonna start by dicing up my onion. Now, this gumbo is so versatile because it's got some serious flavor, so it makes a great comfort dish. And I mean, it's also an excellent stand-in for chicken noodle soup if you're ever feeling under the weather. And now I'm gonna dice up a green bell pepper. And then I have two stalks of celery that I just want to get diced into small pieces. Now, I also have four cloves of garlic that I minced up, as well as um, some sliced okra. Now, honestly, I don't like okra, like, not even a little bit. But, like, the flavor is lost in the gumbo, so don't be afraid to eat it. Now, in a three and a half to six quart slow cooker, we're gonna add the roux, and then to that, we're gonna add the chicken broth. Then we're just going to give this a quick mix just to get everything incorporated, and then we're gonna add our other ingredients. Now the recipe calls for three cups of chicken broth, but I found that it was kind of chunky at the end. Now if you like a chunkier soup, then just add the three cups. But if you like it a little bit looser, I found that adding between four to six cups of broth or stock worked well. So we're gonna add the sausage, the chicken, our 
Holy Trinity, the onion, bell pepper, and celery, the okra, the garlic. Then we're just going to salt and pepper this to taste. And then add a little bit of ground red pepper. And you're just gonna cover this and cook this on low for seven to nine hours or on high for four to five hours. And then you'll just wanna skim off any fat that rises to the top. Then you just serve this over rice and enjoy this deliciousness in a bowl. I hope you get inspiration from my kitchen. Like and subscribe to come back for more. And comment below if you definitely want to try this slow cooker gumbo or any other gumbo recipes out there that you absolutely love. You can connect with me on any of my social media listed below. And don't forget to check out the Spruce Eats website for more information as well as the measurements for this recipe. Thank you bunches for being here and I'll catch you back here for more deliciousness.